This is a double motion agitated kettle by Hamilton. Uh, we've installed on it an air operated lift system. You will see some with uh, water lift systems. It kind of has a little cleaner, a little easier to use. Takes a second. This is a joystick type operation, so you have to hold it in the position for it to move at all times. Anytime you stop during the process, it stops moving. It will come back down. We have to bleed a little air out right now. The unit will fully, the agitator will fully evacuate the vessel and within any up position. This is a 6 inch by 30 inch stroke air cylinder we've installed on it. You'll see the agitator is of course your typical double motion style with a scraper agitator and a counter rotating agitator passing with inside of it. On the upper part of the drive we've installed a brand new Euro drive. We've rebuilt the factory gearbox. With all the gears, uh, the main belt gears, pinion gears, uh, seals, bearings, and bushings. There's also an adjustment collar in there to take up wear, which is kind of a unique feature that Hamilton has. Um, on the cylinder, you'll see we've installed two uh, ball valves. These are your, one of your safety devices, so you can close both ball valves when you're cleaning or need to have it in the up position, and it'll stay there all day. You can hit the down all you want, it won't go because air is restricted from it into a cylinder. Also on the on the lines here, you'll see these little T's. They have a small uh, uh, throttling device which controls the size of the orifice as air passes through it. Also on the control, these two little brass fixtures right here, you'll hear one is actually venting some air, has a adjustment on the bottom of each one that controls how fast the air goes into the unit. Now when you're ready to go down, open each valve again and you can just lower it down. I cannot stress enough the scraper agitator must be at 90 degrees to the bridge or the agitator will strike the opposing wall as it raises up. Of course all safety equipment is part of the installation. Uh, this has no facilities to stop the agitator from running in the up position. Um, any type of switch here or a mechanical stop uh, to hold the agitator in your position could be added as well. Uh, the designs are just about endless. We're also feeding 100 PSI air through the regulator to run the system. The lift cylinder has about a 1,700 pound uh, lift capacity at 100 PSI. Um, we're going to show you the agitator. Let me just pull a ladder in here so our camera good luck. We've installed a, a WEG Wash down duty controller, we're operating on 460 volts. Uh, and right now we have it set to operate about 20 hertz, which should be about one third. Come on up, Jim, you take a little look inside. Um, should be about one third of, of the speed. You can run it to about a maximum of about 36 RPM. The controller allows forward and reverse, but obviously there's only one direction for the scrapers to scrape the wall properly. It also has a four inch center bottom discharge, which has a lead flush seating ball valve on the bottom. There's an internal temperature probe as well. Now I'm gonna drop this down. You can get a look underneath, Jim. Uh, you wanna see the valve. Uh, this is a brand new Lee valve. Let's see if we get down from here for a moment. And if you come around this side, Jim, uh, there is a flush seating temperature sensor, and we fit it with a standard LB connection so that you can make your uh, um, your connection to your temperature probe. Also, if you're using a recorder, we've left on here. This is the original owner had this on is a uh, small mounting that could go for a washdown type uh, recorder. Vessels all stainless steel as you can see. And it's ready for service. The jacket on the vessel is a 40 PSI jacket. Let me come back around here Jim, we'll show you a little bit more on the controller. Uh, we really like these wedge washdown controllers. Of course, as you may know, they're uh, Brazilian made. It's a really great product. They've been in the market 25 years or so. Um, of course, you uh, all touch sensitive controls, wash down. You can change your speed by just ramping up here. And as you go through the book, there's all different ways. There's braking, 
Um, you can control how fast it ramps up, ramps down. Also has a stop start here. There's your stop, it'll shut it right down. And should there be any need for it, um, you can also reverse by going here. And now it's actually running backwards. We have lots of kettles and everything.